Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Erin and as you can probably tell by what's going on behind me and the title of this video, we're finally doing it guys. We are finally doing the huge, insane patchwork unboxing. I have collected up all of your guys' packages. You guys can see there's a shit ton here behind me. I don't know why I feel so nervous right now to record this video. I think it's kind of like that feeling of Christmas morning when you know you have a hundred packages to open. Um, so let's just go ahead and dive on into opening up all these goodies here. And of course, before I go ahead and open all these packages up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for being a part of this community project and sending in all of these packages. It's insane the amount of love I feel right now and the amount of support I have here on my channel. I could be wrong, but I tried to count up all these packages and I think that I have 42 packages. So if you guys could not already tell, yes, I finally finished up this like scrappy little crop long sleeve. It's so beautiful. This came out way better than expected. And I know you guys can see that I have like all of my ends still here on the sweater. Just ignore my um, unfinished top here and let's just go ahead and start with some packages. So as I expected, I think I am going to try to break up this unboxing into two different parts because I know it's gonna take me way longer to open all these up. And of course I don't wanna just speed through tearing open these packages. I do wanna give recognition to each person. And let's just go ahead and start off with this first package. But this one did come from France. Oh, this is so cool already. I can't believe this is the first one that I opened up. Okay, look at this first one. This is a unique one. This is a unique one already. Is that the first one? Yeah, it's the very first one that I opened up. All right, so I've just opened up the package and I have my little letter here. This package is from Helen. I hope you will like them and they will match with the others. Good luck for the gathering. Take care, Helen. And she also says, P.S. I am sending this from a small village of France's countryside. That's so cool, rep my people, I am half French, so thank you Helen for sending me some French love. So these are the first two squares. This first one is insane. It's like super hairy, furry, it's extremely thick. And then like Helen said, this is her second square and this is done with a beautiful shell stitch. So we've got these two beauties. Thank you so much Helen for sending these in. All right, let's pick up the next package. So this one is nice and pink. It's from Kristen in Illinois. Okay, it just gets better. And, and I'm of course gonna be saving all the letters that you guys sent me. And she also says, P.S. I ordered some of your crochet shorts recently. I am super excited for those too. Oh yes, I already sent those out. So I hope by the time this video comes out that you have received them in the mail. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys this one first. It's like a velvety material. This kind of reminds me of like the Bernat velvet yarn and Jordan's gonna show you guys the second <sighs> patch that Kristen sent in oh, show him <laughs> you gotta show him. this is like a checkered pattern so I'm assuming she used one type of roving variegated yarn for the color and then she switched it up with black I actually really like this all right pick out my next one which one am I gonna open up next this, one. this next one how funny you picked out the next one from France so this one is from Lucy in France Ooh, this one's like a, ooh. Okay. Okay, you have to show them while I read this. Crazy. Yeah, that's tight. I can't even explain how long this must have taken because you use two different kinds of yarn to make like this flower pattern. That's but it's dope. stitched up super tight and then she added a cute little embroidered flower that's also crocheted. That's so hard to do. I will be leaking her little Instagram name right here, go ahead and check it out. But thank you, Lucy, for sending in. All right, another pink one. Jersey. This is from Langton in New Jersey. It's like Christmas. I, that's what I said in the beginning. I was like, I feel nervous opening all of these. Okay, and she's already sent me like her little business card, so go ahead and open those up for me, please. Ooh, there's a little These are so there's cool. a little pumpkin. <laughs> so this is the first one, nice and blue, super thick. I'm not really sure what pattern this is, but it kind of just reminds me of like a 
basket weaving pattern, maybe like a bubble pattern. Next one, like Jordan just showed you guys, she stitched a freaking pumpkin. Perfect timing for fall into this. This is of course gonna make somewhere in the front. Like this one really stands out, y'all. Of course, we got a nice, beautiful heart. Haven't received a heart yet. And I love that deep red. And another super special one. I believe this is like the houndstooth pattern, but I just love that standard black and white. Oh, okay, so the first name is Olivia. This is from Olivia. Super cute. I'm pretty sure I recognize your Liv is Frog Family name from Instagram, so 14. not the first time. Yeah, She's 14. 14 has her own business. She's getting a head start. Your face isn't even in it. Babe. You go, girl. All right, so this next package Jordan picked out is from Alexis in Kentucky. And she. Where? Richmond. 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 <laughs> she made, I think these are like half double crochets or double crochets with just some variegated yarn. It's kind of got like some pastel y colors. Ooh, and then this next one. This one took some time. She stitched like a daisy flower into Damn. the middle. This is from Alexis again. She's 20 years old from Kentucky and she says that I got her back into crocheting. So that's pretty cool. I've had a couple people message me and tell me like, <laughs> you gotta read who it's from. Oh, sorry. Oh, Mariah from Texas. This is from Mariah from Texas. Damn. So cool. Oh. These are cool. What, it's a flower? It's yeah, it's just like some kind of flower. Ooh, it's like a 3D flower. So can you guys see it kind of like She's your face is like in focus. It like <laughs> definitely stands out. It like pops out from the yarn or from the square itself. So, all right, and the next one. This one's cool, it reminds me of. Uh, sun, like sun and moon almost. UCLA. <laughs> UCLA. So I'll go ahead and tag her name right here, at Mariah's Makes. This was a great opportunity to contribute to something fun and creative and to use up some scrap yarn. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Yeah. Impatient clothing from, is that Alabama? Alabama. 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 <laughs> this is exciting. <laughs> it literally feels like Christmas. Nice. Okay, this is crazy. Please tell me, are these all seriously squares right now? Yeah. Okay, yeah, they're all they're all seriously squares. All right, hold up. Really cute smileys here. I like that blue stands out from the yellow. And then we've got a shit ton, a shit ton of these daisies. And I'm really digging the gray with it like that standard granny stitch. So we've got like this rainbow pattern going on here. And then she definitely paid attention to like my little announcement. I do think I need some like triangle pieces so that I can make like a V-neck instead of, you know, square in the front. So she sent two triangle pieces for the very front of the cardigan, just different variations on the rainbow. And then two more red rainbow pieces for like triangles. Jordan's sweating. Look at this pile so far. Next, next package is from Alyssa in... Kansas. Kansas. Right? My sister what? lives in Kansas. <laughs> Why are we saying every state with an accent? Wait, Wait that's <laughs> The Can same accent. That's Kansas, right? Yeah, I think... <laughs> we did pass fourth grade geography. I don't know why we're struggling right now. Oh, these are... So oh. Oh, there's three. Take it back. This is so cool. Like, this first square she sent in is got like the sunflower stitch and y'all, this one is like 3D as well. So it seriously like pops out. So these are her two squares. Thank you, Alyssa. Speeding right along here. Jordan's wasting no time. Tr Trisha from, is this Washington? Washington. Trisha from Washington. Thank you. Trisha says, hello, I'm Trisha. My Instagram is pillow underscore creations. Oh. Wait, I gotta talk, baby. Oh, You're making sorry. so much noise. I'm sorry. This is- Unicorn, pig. These are sick. What am I looking at? Here. What the heck? A Jonah? <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm dead. I have, I have no words. I definitely did not expect wow. anything like this. So this is the first square that Trisha sent. Pops out so much. It's like a legit plushie on a square. It's a cute little unicorn. I like these like little details right here with the hair. All right, Jordan says this is his favorite square, but on the back side, she used some like velvet yarn again. I like the roving colors here, but then another like little pop out. I hope it's like really focusing. Like this square pops out as well. That's a freaking bear, guys. Like each one of these is crazy. All right, this next one she sent in as well. It's a fucking donut. <laughs> Excuse me? 
Oh, is this um? Is it Frida Kahlo? There you go. Frida. Is this Frida? I think it's Frida. I hope it's Frida and I'm not. <laughs> Look at the amount of work that you guys are like seriously putting into these squares. And like each of these like little flowers stands out and pops out from the square. It's like a bumblebee here with some wings. Super cute. I love me some green guys. <laughs> so I'll focus on Jordan's face. All right, we're doing All right. a big one. We're doing a box. Oh, this one's crazy. Huge holographic box is from Jennifer in Virginia Beach. Why is this Dying. box so huge? Holy moly. What Super cool. This? Tell me, did she crochet a bag to put the squares into. Oh, it's a little Whoa, pouch. Whoa, babe, look, she's got. Hey, these are sick. Because she crocheted this super cool wavy bag. There's like a little leather emblem here with her brand on it. That's super cool. All right, first square sent in with like some heathered yarn. Ooh. All right, the next one's got like a daisy stitch here and again, this is definitely like 3D stitched. I don't know how the hell y'all are doing this, but oh my gosh, these are so cool. I don't even know what kind of pattern this is called, but very like geometric. The yarn has got some gold shimmers in it. Can y'all see that? Damn, these are all so different from each other. Like Damn. one from the next, they're all so different. Okay, I think this one is done with like that mosaic style pattern. So you've got like these super bright, vibrant colors and then you go in with like your black yarn. Wow, guys. This one. Dang. Guys. So oh, yes, this is what I'm talking about. For sure, this is a mosaic type of patch. I love how much black is in here because it really stands out and like contrasts like the little bit of color. Six, seven, eight, nine squares. This one, I think it's like a rose in the center. It kind of reminds me of like the top of a cupcake, <laughs> but I love, it kind of looks like um, Funfetti yarn. 3D too. <laughs> what? I got Funfetti Pillsbury cake on my mind. Like, I yeah, love these swirly, a swirl, and swirl squares are kind of hard to make. Ooh, we got a good standard heart. This is even different from the other heart square that was sent in. But this is cool too, like, I can't even explain. All of these squares are like 3D, like there's some type of texture to them. So I just wanna say thank you again for sending all these extra cute little goodies. I can't wait to, you know I'm gonna eat up these candies. We're like chocolate fiends. And then I'll probably use some of your face masks tonight, so thank you. This next one is from Lily from Sioux City. Oh, are these stickers? Lily, whoa. Lily does some sick ass artwork. Let's see. Guys, look at that. You use like three or four different kinds of yarn, but this is the first square Lily sent in. And then here is the second square with some lime green and the brown mustardy yellow. Insane, this is from Makia. Decatur. And you're from Alabama. Decatur, Decatur Alabama. Oh my God. <laughs> Just y'all. <laughs> Party. This is crazy. Stop. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, she made. E and B. That's so cute. That's so cool. <laughs> oh my <Our> mind. gosh. <laughs> so cool. She stitched E and B. Or she actually like crocheted it into the actual square. And the E. Ooh. She sent in some super cool, like chartreuse -y green ones. As you guys know, the green blues are like my favorite. It's kind of like a sky blue, maybe like a gray. Then I've got some teal aqua squares. This is crazy. Navy, I almost said lavender, some navy squares. Then we're switching it back up. We've got some heathered maroon squares. These are gorgeous. Look at that. Irish green squares. I love the, the vibrancy of these colors. Oh my God. And then we've got some heathered blue squares and some solid navy ones as well. All right, so I've opened up Makia's little letter here to me. I was packaged and ready to go. And then I decided to make some more squares in honor of those who are unable to send in squares. That's so kind of you. If you guys have been following along on some of my Q and A's, like my live videos and everything, um, I have been mentioning that a ton of people have 
made squares and then last minute they message me saying they can't send it either because of where they live whether it's like post office restrictions or even cost restrictions i know you guys spent a ton of money on sending these out so guys i think we should all take a moment here to thank makia for making extra squares for all those who couldn't participate these are like in honor of you guys i know you guys really wanted to send some in i feel speechless right now I'm pretty sure I've been saying it wrong all these days, but thank you, Makaya, for sending in freaking 85 squares, guys. Can we just get like a round of applause real fast for that? That's insane. All right, this next package that I'm opening up is from Mary Antonia from Greece, Athens, Greece. And I just love that like with YouTube, I'm able to have such like a gigantic reach, like literally people on the other side of the world and I'm getting to touch your stuff. That sounds so weird, but. Antonia, here is her very first square. I love these bright, colorful squares. Oh my gosh, I love these 3D ones that you guys have been sending in to me. I've received some crazy 3D pop out squares, but this is like another one of those. It's kind of hard to see, but there is some texture here on this, like a pastel yellow and then a deep yellow checkered square. All right, adding to the pile. This next package is from Haley from Massachusetts. All right, Haley from Massachusetts. This first square, super cute. I really love these spiral squares and I love the colors that you picked out. I'm sure at this point in the unboxing series, I have pretty much used up all of the words in my vocabulary. These are all one of a kind squares. This one, I'm pretty sure it's a Hello Kitty square. Can we just take a minute? Hello? Hello, where are you guys getting these ideas? Okay, I think this might be my favorite one from you, Haley. There's a mushroom on this square. Can we seriously just appreciate all the hard work that you guys have really put into making these? All right, and the last square here is a really cool zigzag pattern. I haven't gotten a zigzag one yet. All right, let's dig into some up here from Jessica in florida if you're reading this and if you can answer one question what music do you use for your intro in your videos or in your background um and to answer your question the music that i've been using in my videos i get a lot of them from um i'll go ahead and just like list the name of the website here but i get my free copyrighted music from here i think it's called hello thematic so this first one we've got a really cute heart with some navy purple right here Ooh, and the next one is kind of reversed i've got the purple heart in the center with the navy on the outside. Okay, now we've got like a rusty orange one with a bright white heart. We've got another heart here. And again, another heart. All right, and now you've used some like fleck yarn right here to make this really cute granny square. Whoa, okay, I think this is my favorite one from the bunch. Look at that. I love like vintage 70 colored style patches like you guys have seen i like to aim more towards like the oranges and the rusty colors this anything that kind of reminds me of like 70s vintage vibe i'm gonna open this one up this is a package that i received i want to say it was like one of the first three packages that came in the mail something huge sitting in here and i've been dying to open this one up but this one is from Brittany from la thank you Brittany, for sending this one in to me my california sister it's like my birthday. I'm just getting yarn. You sent me some natural cotton in this like super bright aqua color. And I love how you packaged up these squares with this like little bit of twine right here. But I went ahead and created a square especially for you to use however you like. I also added a ball of cotton yarn that I enjoy knitting and crocheting with. And of course, Brittany has left me her Instagram handle, so I'll go ahead and insert it here. But it is at Brittany Diane Knit. Guys, get out of here. Oh my god, I literally just got chills. She said she included a very thoughtful, unique, and personal square for me. Guys, I have no words. Brittany, you've like seriously outdone yourself. One of a kind, guys. I'm definitely saving this for a very personal project. I don't even know what I'm going to make with it yet. Guys, this is my logo. Okay, so this first one I'm going to show you from Brittany is actually a knit triangle this is i think my very first knit square and it's super delicate super soft 
Thank you for including like a little square for like the front of the cardigan. This one's cool. I think you sent me these photos a while back, but I've got that super special wavy pattern here. I think you guys made this after I showed you like little sneak peeks of like the bag I was working on. We got another spiral. Look at these colors. Even this has like a vintage feel to it. The next square. Oh my gosh. Again, I don't even know what type of pattern this is called, but I'm digging it. Kind of just reminds me of like mosaic pieces. Look at the detail in like this symbol right here. Kind of looks like a snowflake. That's crazy. All right, this next package is from Mod, and this is from the Netherlands. So another international package. Look at all these squares. Oh, and there's like little stuff in here. Okay, let me open up her letter first. Amara, I completely forgot that you're from the Netherlands, but this is so cool. All right, so let's go ahead and show you Amara's squares first here. Wow, and these are all super squishy and soft. So this first square here we've got, it almost looks like some ribbing, with this really vibrant purple. And then next, ooh, this is a pretty unique one. What kind of stitch is this called? Look, again, it kind of looks like basket weaving, like a weaved stitch. Whoa, okay, when I show this to Jordan, he's gonna lose it. But this one, by far, this one's my favorite. We've got a moon here in the center. Ooh, I've been dying to use this stitch, but this is using the star stitch, I think. I don't have one of these yet, so cool. And lastly, whoa, I didn't even see the front of this. We've got a really cool like bobble texture square, super thick. All those like little bobbles really stand out. And Amara also included these really gorgeous handmade cards, each of them are like all different they're so cute okay let's move along find ooh, another one okay this next package is from from sarah in burlington canada all right oh these are so cute okay thank you sarah for sending these in here's her first square i really love this like lace pattern here in the center it's so different. Y'all know I love contrasting colors like this. Like that's really gonna stand out. Look at that, look at all that color. Again, with these mustard colors, y'all are really hooking it up with the fall vibes, right? Watching your videos always brightens my day. I cannot wait to see what you do with the squares. Much love, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah, again, for sending these in to me. And I'm gonna go ahead and link Sarah's information here, but her brand is called Kitties and Creations. So go ahead and check her out, guys. So many packages left over. And I don't want this video to run too extremely long. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, but stay tuned again. I will be having a part two where I finish up the rest of these crazy beautiful packages. Guys, just like look at this crazy pile of squares. I can't even count up how many I have. I think by now I should have like 200. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching so much. And if you didn't see your package here in this video, don't worry, there will be a part two coming. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it but yeah i can't express guys how excited i am to finally put together and stitch together all these squares by far i definitely have enough squares to make probably at least two cardigans at this point um i will decide later on if i do one cardigan and like a vest or even like a bag something else but um help me decide down below what i should make as the second and third project because there's clearly enough squares for all of that stay tuned guys part two is on its way very, very soon, and I'll be back on here in a few days.